Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to the Doherty Gymnasium on the campus of Malden Catholic High School in Malden, Massachusetts for the final game of the first day of the 2017 Comcast Arbella IABBO Board 27 Girls Basketball Tournament. I'm Jeff Poster for BCAM TV. Glad you all could join us here on our coverage of the 2016-17 Varsity Girls Basketball season as it's the end of the regular season technically. This isn't the postseason just yet, but it's a, a little bit of a postseason pre-MIAA tournament for the Braintree Wants in which they are a three-time defending champ looking for number four here as they take on the Revere Patriots. Braintree comes in 15-3 and three overall, 15-1 in the Bay State carry. Revere a perfect 18-0 overall, 15-0 out of the Northeastern League. We're going to pause here briefly for the singing of the National Anthem. mentioned, Revere comes in perfect at 18-0. They are the number one team in the state, according to the Boston Herald. Number one out of the north. Raintree, actually number three in the south. They've fallen behind both Bishop Fian, who just played in the game before this, defeating Woburn. So the winner of this one will meet Bishop Fian on Monday afternoon. The losers will play Woburn, who Bishop Fian beat tomorrow, Sunday afternoon. Raintree is coming off a win over Weymouth to close out the true part of their regular season, 79 to 23 earlier this week. Revere finished off their perfect regular season with a 61-55 over Peabody. And set to do battle here as got some of the best teams in the state. The starters for the Revere Patriots who will be in their road, Navy Blues with the white numbers and red trim, Megan Gotham, a senior, Pamela Gonzalez, a junior, Emily DiGiulio, a sophomore, Samantha Woodman, a senior, and Tatiana Ikeovelio, a junior, and it'll be Revere. Icavello. <laughs> My apologies. It's Revere will start with the ball moving left to right. Up top, that's DiGiulio. Gonzalez and already a first whistle goes against Revere. And a turnover, so Braintree will have a chance to strike first. Rachel Tutkis, Keela Dixon, Jenna Roach, Maddie Fay, and Adriana Timberlake, the starting five for head coach Kristen McDonald. Assisted by Amanda McKenney and James McDonald. Revere under first year head coach Leanne O'Hara. That's a nice look for Tutkis down low. Able to get the two-footer, and Braintree is on the board here first. And already out on that full-court press. Hickavell gets it up and ahead to Woodman. And this is their leading scorer, Valentina Pepic. She's 6'2", averages 20 points a game, 8 rebounds. And Braintree's going to have a tough time covering her just because they don't have the size to match up. Rebound controlled by Revere off the missed shot. Up and in as Pamela Gonzalez 
draws the first foul. And the foul was against Keela Dixon. That's her first, team's first. And no good on the free throw. Briefly, the rebound was controlled by Pepic, then taken away by Timberlake. Running the floor, and Roach can't finish. Faye tips it around, Pepic gets the board. No good on that shot, goes out of bounds. And Braintree will take it back. Six and a half left to go here in the first quarter. Again, well, this is technically not the MIA postseason. It's not originally on the team's regular season schedule. They add this in as Keela Dixon's going to tee up a three and got it. First points of the afternoon for Dixon. Late afternoon game, 5 o'clock start here. Ball moved around. Cavello trying to get around Dixon, gets a screen, and they're going to say an illegal screen as Samantha Woodman picks up the blocking foul. First on her, first team foul against Revere. The Revere Patriots made it last season to the North sectional finals where they were eliminated by Woburn, who just lost here as Dixon drives the lane and is going to get two shots. I believe that was Woodman again who just picked up her second. No, I, that's Pamela Gonzalez. And two free throws here for Keela Dixon. Misses the first. Woodman's going to sit down anyway, and that'll bring in double zero senior Megan Gotham, who is also 6'2". And uncharacteristically, Keela Dixon misses both free throws. Rebound was brought down by Pepic. Michael again, dealing with Dixon, finds Gotham. Gotham, the Twin Towers. Gotham and Pepic down low here for the Patriots. Driving in left-hand dribble is Giulio, and they throw it away. So Revere a little sloppy here. Three turnovers already. And granted, one of them was on a shot that Braintree let go out of bounds. Bella Tonetti is going to check in. Tonetti had started most of the season for Chris McDonald's to come off the bench here today. As Dixon will run the point. Dixon trying to get past Gonzalez. Dixon goes up, counted on the foul. Five points now for Dixon and looking for her first free throw to go down. And Braintree's got a 7-2 lead here. 5-17 left to go in the first quarter. Foul picked up by Pepic. That's her first. Team's third already. And Dixon completes the three-point play. Full court press again for Braintree. Able to get it in, and then a double team. Gotham able to bail out Acavello. Here's Gonzalez. Down to one knee, nearly lost the dribble. Somehow kept it alive. Nice job by her against Jenna Roach. Acavello to her right, takes a three, looks no good. Back iron, and Tanetti over the outstretched arms of Gotham. Roach finds Tuckus down low, and Braintree capitalizes on the fast break. But great rebounding set up by Bella Tanetti, who had about a foot and a half difference between her and Megan Gotham. Pepic down low over Faye, no good. Rebound bounced around, and eventually controlled by Dixon. Dixon up to Roach, no good. Faye an offensive board. Nearly lost it, saves it. Keela, a good look for three, splash! Two three-pointers here in the first for Keela Dixon and Braintree. Already out to a double-digit lead of 11, 13 to two.
trying to stun the world here against Revere. Gotham trying to back down Faye, and she traveled. Another turnover here, the fourth already for Revere. As Mackenzie Moore will check in for the first time for Braintree. Also into the game is Erica Cheever, who's just a freshman. Not bad for head coach Leanne O'Hara to have a freshman starting on the number one team in the state. And Tanetti and Moore miscommunicate there and the turnover for Braintree. I think that might be their first one. 354 left to go here in the first quarter. 13 to 2 the score, Braintree. Applause for Keila Dixon as she gets a breather. Roach right back into the game. Tipped by Tutkiss and taken away by Moore. Rachel Tutkiss, fast quick, up ahead. Timberlake, Roach, and they got it. What passing there between Roach and Timberlake. Entry a couple of fast break points here. 15 to 2 now the score. Cavello able to get past the full court press. Going to take it all the way. Draws a contact, but can't get the shot to fall. We'll get two at the line here coming up. Timberlake will pick up her first personal. Second team foul here. First free throw. Bounces around and is good for Tatiana Acciavello. Makes them both. And we're here only able to get their second two points of the night. 15 to four, 11 point game. Timberlake gonna slow down a bit. Roach from the corner, kick back out to Moore. Tuck kiss, quick touch, and travel by Roach. See how long Keela Dixon stays on the bench here for Kristen McDonald. Gonzalez, we're gonna look against Timberlake. Gets a screen, and another whistle, a legal screen again. That's the second time in this game that Revere's been called for that, so 14 foul here against them. First on Gotham. Tonetti long cross-court pass, Timberlake. Good look from three, and she got it. Green Tree's hitting them all here in the first quarter. 18 to four, the score. 2.47 left to go. And Roach able to pick the pocket. Scooped up by Tanetti. Timberlake running the floor, was trying to tip it back because she was out of control and really couldn't get it clean. Cheever passed too much for her. Able to grab it. Tanetti from behind takes it away. And a wild bit of play. Tanetti gets it back for more. Tanetti, a Euro step through the paint, draws contact. And just like that, Gotham has two quick personals. And Bella Tanetti will look to get Braintree 20 points here in the first quarter. There's still 225 left to go. Already the 15 foul against the Patriots. And Tanetti misses on the first. That'll get Dixon back in, as well as Faye. And timeout called here. Revere will talk things over here. 2.25 left to go in the first quarter. Braintree all over Revere. This is the 2017 IAABO Board 27 Basketball Classic. It's a boys and girls tournament, Divisions 1 and 2. Boys don't actually start playing until tomorrow. Earlier today, we had the Division II semi and Division I semifinals. And as I mentioned, the finals for those will be across Sunday and Monday. Bishop Fian defeating handedly Woburn in the first matchup of the Division I game just before this one. So, Braintree would love another crack at Bishop Fian. They handed them their first loss earlier this year. And the Bishop Fian Shamrock still in the house here, keeping an eye on this one, like Didi and his staff. 
course, that was a rematch then of last year's Division I South Sectional Finals. And, of course, Bishop Fian went on to win the state championship. Second free throw attempt here for Tenetti out of the timeout is good. Nineteen to four now. Hard push up ahead for Elizabeth Lake, the senior. Just tacked in. Mikeavello around Dixon. Dixon pops loose, steals it. She's got a fast break opportunity. Dixon all the way. Two more for Keela. Keela already with eight here. Is this one? Skimmed off a brain tree hand out of bounds. It's going to remain Revere Ball. Side out for them. Gonzalez will check in. Cavello takes a breather. 23 on the shot clock. Down low. Pepic. Pepic can't get loose. They double teamed her with Dylan and Faye. Dylan had just been coming in before the timeout. Timberlake thought about the three and said cross court. Tanetti, open look. Three. Got in and out. That was halfway down, and Gonzalez picks up the rebound. Shot attempt, no good, but a foul against Braintree. That was Woodman, and she'll get a couple of free throws. Bella Tanetti picks up her first. But Tanetti and Keela Dixon last season were named to this tournament's all-tournament team. As Woodman's first free throw is no good. Green sure looking for that statement win still this season. They dropped the game to Bishop Fian in which they lost in the final second of the game. And that's going to be a lane violation on Rachel Tutkus. No! It's going to be on Pepic actually. She didn't make the free throw anyway, so 21 to four remains our score with just about a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Maddie Fay finds Jenna Roach, good look from three, and she got it. The outside shot is falling. Jenna Roach has five now in the game. Cheever, the freshman, couldn't get past Roach, and Jenna's gonna call for the reach in. Air Force. Fourth team foul on Braintree. Inbound to Cheever. Gonzalez gets it right back. Gonzalez trying to get around Dixon. Fay got a hand in there briefly. Gonzalez held on. Cheever looked from three. No good. Rebound controlled by Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to find some space. The ball hit underneath the rim, but she draws contact and now. Braintree, Adriana Timberlake picks up her second. Let's see if, yep, that's going to get Mackenzie Moore off the bench. And Gonzalez can't hit from the free throw line. And so far, Revere's not doing themselves any favors from the charity stripe. That one misses too. Pepic tips the rebound back out. Side to Lake and a fresh 30 seconds. Pepic from the elbow, long pass over Cheever, gets past Dixon, blocked by Moore, saves it from going out of bounds, and Dixon gets fouled. This is on, it's on Gonzalez with the push. And that's the 16 foul against Revere. Pamela Gonzalez is second. Icavello is going to come back in as a result. So, I'm saying it said Braintree had evened it up. Lumps could go two for one if they move quick, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Roach, Dixon is wide open. Got it. Collapsed down on her quickly. 
Nice ball movement outside. Moore, a step inside the three-point line, got it anyway. Her first bucket of the evening. 26 to four, the score. And Revere looking for the final shot here. 20 seconds left. Gonzalez trying to get around Dixon. Kick outside. I think of that long three. And they're gonna push underneath. And that's against Revere. That's the 17th foul. If indeed it is. They haven't changed it on the scoreboard. Away from Pamela Gonzalez, it's not her. She was on the floor. It's Pepe. That's her second. And Maddie Faye is going to get a one and one here. As a result, the Braintree able to get into that first bonus before the first quarter is even over. Can't make the first, so she won't get a second. Ball's on the ground. It should be out of bounds. I thought that was off Revere's leg. Jenna Roach thought so too, but Patriots. Kristen McDonald telling her team to still press. There's only eight seconds left on the game clock here. They get it into Gonzalez and try to push here. Gonzalez, Cabello, send it over the top. It's picked off by Moore. Another turnover to end the first quarter, and Braintree puts on a show here in the first. 26 to 4 is the score after one. The Wumps on top of the Patriots. Don't go anywhere. Right here. We're going to take a break. You're watching Braintree Varsity Girls Basketball on BCAM. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our technical skills, our math, our engineering skills. You're going to need our help with your water, your air, your food. You're going to need our organizational skills, our problem solving skills. You're going to need our determination, our honesty, our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us. Back here at Malden Catholic, Jeff Poster for BCAM TV and the 2017 Comcast Arbella IAABO. Board 27 girls division one basketball tournament. Braintree with a 26 to four lead at the end of one. And I don't want to say it's a bit surprising, but Braintree who's come back down to earth a little bit this year after their long run of success in the last few years. And lost their first conference game last week. In, since 2013, but they are dominating the number one team here, undefeated Revere, as Moore's three is way off the line, but Roach, an offensive rebound, didn't hit the rim though, Braintree does not get the shot clock reset, Tanaglia's got a good look at a three, no good, Roach, another offensive rebound, she's going to drive into the paint, try to put it up with the right hand, and somehow, able to find just enough room, Jenna Roach making everything happen on that play. Bello. Inside, Woodman got hit from behind. No foul, but the ball's going to go out of bounds off of Braintree. It's going to stay with Revere, 16 on the clock. Inside and travel on the inbounds pass, so it's at least the sixth turnover already for Revere. They have not taken care of the ball. Dixon trying to go right through a crowd. They all collapsed down on her, couldn't get the shot. And Gotham with the defensive board. 
Up ahead, Gotham using her size and that long stride. Is able to get the finger roll layup. 28 6 now. Roach, right hand dribble, hand off to Moore. Moore looking to push. Tech gets the free throw line jumper, too strong. Rebound right to Jenna Roach. Three offensive rebounds already in this quarter, and Dixon will try a three. No good. Tuckus can't get there in time. A first-year head coach, Leanne O'Hara, she actually, this pass is taken away by Tenetti. Finish that thought in a second. Roach tries a three, back iron, no good. Tenetti, another offensive rebound. Bella, no look pass, gets Tuckus along the baseline. Tuckus finds more and more, found some space, and drew some contact. That's Canelo picks up her first personal. Team's eight. This is a two shot foul regardless. And Moore cannot make the first. Makes the second though. So you started to say Leanne O'Hara, this is her first year. She actually led Division Three Bishop Fenwick last season. They won the Division Three state championship. So she's a championship winning coach taking on a team that made it to the North sectional final before losing to Woburn. And they take a timeout here with Braintree trapping, nearly getting the held ball and the possession arrow in their favor. So timeout with 6.08 left to go, 29 to 6 here in the second quarter. As I said, last year they made it to the north section. They lost to Woburn 58 to 46. They're trying to get past that this season. They would like to get to the TD Garden, which is the Eastern Mass Finals, which very well you can see the four teams involved in the Division One tournament, really across all the Division One and Division Two teams here this weekend, very well could be the teams in play for those games in the Garden. I mentioned the Boston Herald, which does a very good job of their high school coverage here in Massachusetts, especially Eastern Massachusetts, has Revere as number one in the North, Woburn number three, Bishop Fian number one in the South, and Braintree is number three. Bay State rival Newton North is number two. This ball is knocked away, but held on to by Revere. They go down low for Gotham. Had it bobbled, recovered, and the three ball was no good. Tanetti bounce pass for Timberlake was behind her, and be a turnover here for the Wolves. More full court pressure here. And Gotham traveled trying to make that pass. Good call. Another turnover for Revere. They've got to be more careful with the ball. Not even just in this game, but just this is your pre MIA tournament look at how you can do against the elite of the state. Braintree, like I said, looking for that statement win still that they can hang with the best in the state. Shot clock uh, didn't reset as Dixon's shot did hit the rim. We're sitting at 11 seconds, so I'm gonna figure out exactly how much time should be ticked off. Yeah, 25 seconds. And side out for Braintree. Pepic's back in there. She can't be this quiet for this long. Let's see if Revere can get her going. Timberlake driving strong to the basket, and she's able to get her first two-pointer of the night. Has a three to go for five points now. Tanetti gambling, and 
It's going to get called on the wrong side of that gamble with a reach in. It's her second personal. It's a 16 foul, so Braintree, next one there will be. Revere will be in that first bonus. Get it into Peckett. That's backcourt. That is uh, not something you should be doing at this level. Another turnover for Revere. Just simple mistakes right now and a big difference in this 31 to 6 game. Timberlake, strong drive in, no good. And foul on the rebound, I believe, is on Tutkus. It is. That's Rachel's first, but that's the 17 fouls. This is a one and one here. It's going to be. A one and one for Elizabeth Lake. Makes the first. Second one able to rattle home. It's 31 to 8. Maybe that gets Revere going. Dixon left hand dribble over to Roach. Finds Timberlake, bullet pass down low, and it's taken away by Gonzalez. Here comes Lake the other direction, slows up and waits for her offense. Bounce pass entry to Pepek, bodying up Maddie Fay. And they call an offensive foul. Wow. Good surprise. Fay didn't have. Looked like she had her, didn't quite have her feet set. And Maddie Fay up to the challenge here against Pepe. Fans of Revere don't like it. Is that Pepe's third personal? Dixon finds just enough space. Dixon with 13 points now. That shot no good. Roach with another rebound. Roach finds Molly Moore. Bounce pass Dixon. Fay down low in a crowd. Throws it up no good. Pepic steals away that rebound. And pass too strong. Trying to go over to Jenna Wells. And time out. 3.58 left to go. Raintree is up 25 for halftime. Like I said, Braintree trying to make that statement. They have three losses this year. I mentioned the one to Bishop Bean. They lost in the Hoop Hall Classic to Enfield, Connecticut. And then just a little over a week ago, they dropped their first conference in conference game to Newton North. It was the first conference loss Braintree's had in four years. And I believe that last loss, again, was to Newton North. So Newton North Tigers trying to make a statement. Led by Sayani Lasser, had 34 points in that game. Could also be one of the teams among the four here playing this weekend that could be vying for a spot on the garden floor. And a timeout. Adriana Timberlake's going to inbound this one. Dixon will run the point. Pepic's come out of the game here for Revere, who's used just about everybody they've got. Okay. Moore, quick go, touch pass to Roach for three, in and out. But Faye with an offensive rebound right back up. 
and she gets two. Everybody's getting involved here for Braintree. And a big difference has been the rebounding, which is surprising given that Revere's got the two six-footers. Braintree doesn't have a single one. Nice move by Gotham. She didn't even have her shoulder square to the basket. The hook shot driving in. She's got four. She's got four to lead all over here. 25 point game here still. Molly Moore thought about it for the bounce pass to Faye. Tonetti's gonna come back in next whistle. And an offensive foul on Molly Moore. That's an 18 foul, first on Molly. 2.56 left to go in the first half. Gotham gets it in from Gonzalez and gets it right back. Gonzalez walking here, right hand dribble over to Lake. Lake gets it back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to get around Dixon. First action for Bella Scarpa, senior captain, in there for Braintree. Gonzalez shot no good. Gotham offensive rebound. Tipped around and finally brought in by Dixon. It's a foul against Keela Dixon. Trying to shove off, it looks like. Getting quite the reaction here in the gym. That's Keela's second. And the 19th foul even rose up again. And here with a chance to make some noise now. Cheever tried to set a screen for Gonzalez. Hard drive in by Gonzalez and another foul before the shot. Doesn't matter, it's the 10th team foul anyway. That's yeah, against Tanetti. So free throws the rest of the way here, two free throws. Every time as Tanetti picks up her third to be careful there. And Gonzalez makes the first. She had missed her previous two attempts. Maggie Hester comes into the game. Rachel Tutkiss back in as well. And Jenna Roach. Gonzalez makes them both. So a little bit of life here from Revere in that latter stages of the second quarter. They're too talented to be this quiet for this long. Tutka straightaway three, chases her own miss. No good though, rebound brought in by Woodman. And Gonzalez starting to heal it, feel it. Throws down Timberlake, no call. Missed on the shot, Hester with the rebound. Up ahead to Scarpa. Timberlake will try a corner three, got it. Guess she didn't need the call. Gonzalez looking to clear out the backcourt. 38-12. Back to a 25-point game. 26-point game, actually. Gotham using her size, able to post up. Two more for her. She's got six. One nineteen left to go in the half. Jenna Roach calls out a design play. Timberlake try another corner three from the other side. No good. Rebound was bad around. They say last touch by Revere. And Braintree will retain possession and a fresh shot clock. Hester will inbound. Tupkis. Over to Timberlake. Roach gets through. Back to Timberlake. Driving in. A little Leo step. And Adriana Timberlake all of a sudden feeling pretty good. She's got 10 points in the first half. Long pass up ahead. Woodman, clear lane to the basket, can't finish. Gotham there for the follow, tied up. Possession arrow in Braintree's favor. Substitutions, Keeler Dixon's gonna come back in. 
I think there's discussion. Is the possession arrow pointing the direction it should go, or is it pointing at the bench of who it will belong to? And there's a debate between the referees, and it's pointing the direction it should go, like, is the ruling. So it's going to be Revere Ball. And Cheever, the freshman, the inbound. Quickly into Gonzalez, catch and shoot for three, no good. Gotham tipped the rebound and a foul. And as a result on Gotham, she picks up her third. So both Megan Gotham and Valentina Pepic with three personals. And that's the 10th team foul against Revere. So three throws here for Tupkis. She makes the first. Tanaglia back in there. Allie Dillon as well. Rebounds. No good, but Timberlake gets the offensive board and banks it in. Oh, Adriana Timberlake. 12 points in the first half. Only Keela Dixon has more with 13. And a foul the other way against Allie Dillon. Senior co captain. Picks up her first. And free throws here from Gonzalez. Makes the first. This is the sixth free throw attempt for Gonzalez. One of the bright spots for Revere is she's found a way to get to the free throw line, which they're going to have to do, especially in the second half. Makes them both. It's four of six from the line here tonight. Offensive foul again on Dixon. Charging into Gonzalez. Throwing some elbows. They're not going to let Keela do that tonight. That's her third. So, a couple of big time players for Braintree and Dixon and Tanetti, both with three. Gotham and Pepic on the other side have three. Cheever gets it in, trying to work against Dillon. Gonzalez against Timberlake, and then she throws her down for an offensive foul. Didn't get that call the last time, and now Pamela Gonzalez has picked up her third. Game that is not short of fouls. Tanetti's actually going to come back in here. So Braintree can take the final shot now with a half, 28.4 on the clock. Cavello back in there to place Gonzalez. Roach tied up by Lake. And Braintree got the timeout as Lake and DiGiulio were both over there. Strong defense in the corner. We have 17 seconds on the clock. Braintree looking to drop one last final play here in the first half. A 43 to 16 lead. It's been impressive here for the Womps. We'll see if Revere can get going in the second half. Like I said, Valentina Pepic, she averages 20 and 8 has been very quiet, has yet to score, has a couple of rebounds. Leading scorer in the game is Keela Dixon with 13, but now she's playing with three fouls. And Timberlake has got 12. Jenna Roach with seven. Now here we go. Kristen McDonald was able to draw up. (laughs) 
So the Alley Dillon to inbound from the corner. And get it to Timberlake. Kenzie Moore fumbled the pass. It's on the ground now, tied up. It's going to stay Braintree ball as we learn that the possession arrow is pointing in the direction of the way it should be going on the court. So Timberlake one down now at 10.8. Moore gets it. Timberlake, good luck from the corner for three. Got it. Timberlake for a third three. And then Tanetti stole away briefly, but threw it right back to Elizabeth Lake. They were trying to get a quick shot at the end of the first half, but Braintree, 46 points, lead by 30. 46 to 16 over the Revere Patriots. And it is, according to the Boston Herald, the number one team in the state. We'll see what Revere can make for adjustments at halftime. Don't go anywhere. Braintree in a good one here in the Comcast Arbella 2017 Division I Girls Tournament right here on BK. Ladies and gentlemen, last call for the 50. Everybody, welcome back to the Doherty Gymnasium at Malden Catholic High School right in Malden, Massachusetts. Jeff Poster here for BCAM TV and our coverage of the 2017 Comcast Arbella IABO Board 27 Division I Girls Basketball Tournament. It's a, you can't call it the regular season anymore, but you can't quite call it the postseason anymore. It's kind of somewhere in the middle of those because the postseason is the MIAA tournament. But this is added on to their schedules at the end of the season. So it's kind of like a postseason tune-up and a preview of what you might expect at the end of the Division One bracket. Braintree, though, they don't have to tune up much, it looks like. They've got a 46-16 to 16 lead, 30 points. Here's the difference over undefeated Revere on the, out of the Northeast Conference and the Northern section of Massachusetts. Adriana Timberlake, a very impressive first half. 15 points. Keela Dixon right behind her with 13. Jenna Roach has seven. The only player really to do much of anything was Megan Gotham. The senior has six for the Patriots. Their leading scorer in the season, Valentina Pepek, as Gotham gets two more right there. She's found a good rhythm getting to the bucket, and she starts the second half. Both Gotham and Valentina Pepek, their leading scorer this season, who averages 20 points, eight rebounds a game, has done hasn't scored at all today. She's playing with three fouls as well. As is Keila Dixon for Braintree, as there were a lot of fouls in that first half. Dixon driving baseline. And she draws a foul right on Q. And it's going to be from Pamela Gonzalez. And that's her fourth. As I just started to run down, Gotham Pepic with three, and now Gonzalez with four. Bella Tanetti also has three fouls for Braintree along with Dixon. And Dixon will get a couple of free throws here. And that is, again, she's. That's her third free throw miss in this game is very unlike her. She's been able to hit from everywhere else on the floor, but struggling when no one's guarding her. Makes that one now. So Dixon is just two of five at the line here this evening. Full court press again. That really was a struggling point for Revere. Develop. Trying to get around Jenna Roach. Roach was very effective. He scored the seven points, but 
Did a nice job on the boards. Pepic's gonna try a three. There it is. There she is. First points of the game. Makes it 47-21. Dixon looking to answer right back. No good. And a rebound in the hands of DeGiulio. And a foul on Timberlake. That's her third. First team foul here for Braintree in the second half. Braintree's still got to be careful. I mean, it's a 26 point game. There's another foul. We don't want to. Revere's got the talent to get back into this game. And that's Timberlake again. And quickly, she's got four now, so she's going to have to take a seat. Which is unfortunate. She's Braintree's leading scorer today. And that'll bring in Tanetti who is also playing with three fouls. So Part of the reason Braintree lost their last game, not their last game, but their last loss to Newton North was Cuba Dixon fouled out at the end. As Cavallo goes one of two at the free throw line. 47-22. Dixon crossover dribble, kick out for Roach. The freshman, Erica Cheever. Dixon finds a lane through, but couldn't get the scoop shot to finish. And then Gotham, just with way more length, puts that rebound out of reach. Julio right hand dribble, meets a wall and tech kiss. Pepkit gets her shot off, no good. Tanetti with a board. Tanetti up ahead to Roach. Roach running the floor, got it, and the foul. Foul is on. What number is DeGiulio? Icavello picks up her second. Oh, I guess they did not count the shot. This is two free throws, so. Well, Roach makes them both. Ladies and gentlemen, Timeout on the floor here. So that was the second foul against Tatiana Camello. Makes it 50 to 22 with 6:05 here in the third quarter. And Braintree trying to figure out how to get it done here with their some of their star players in foul trouble. Adriana Timberlake, Keila Dixon, Bella Tinetti. All right, Revere doing the same thing. Leading scorer, Valentina Pepe. Playing with three. And Pepe and Gotham have a lot of size out there compared to Brangie. Brangie doesn't have a single player that's six foot tall. They have two that are six two in Pepic and Gotham. Here's DeGiulio down the sideline, near us. He's gonna take it the length of the court. Got hit on the arm. Mackenzie Moore, it's an easy call. And she picks up her first, so that's a good sign. Somebody else who doesn't have any fouls picks up one, but this has been a whistle-ridden game. First free throw, no good. Neither team has been great at the free throw line today. She misses both of them. Tupkis grabs the rebound. All the way, Tanetti at the other end. She's got two more. Actually, her first bucket of the game. 
No, three, no good. Back iron, Cheever with the rebound. Cheever tangled up with a roach, and it's going to be a brain tree ball. to not see a press here from Revere. I mean, you're working against the clock. Obviously, you still another quarter left. But Dixon just goes coast to coast there. Gets through everybody because Gotham and Pepic don't want to pick up that fourth foul. Allen dribbled off the foot of Roach. Out of bounds. Yeah. 54-22. But... Going back to that thought, you'd think Revere might come out and press. Braintree can walk it up the court and kill off time. Not that they're going to be in clock-killing mode yet, but it's still a factor. Bello, down low, Pepic looking to go against Moore. Shot it right up and over the basket. Dixon with a rebound. Roach running the floor. Roach going to keep it herself. And there's the layup that they took away from her earlier. Full court pressure though, again from Braintree. Tupkis out harassing Lake. Julio over the top to Pepic between two defenders, spinning through and somehow finds the space. She's got five. Dixon, right hand dribble around Gotham. Can't finish Pepic, another rebound. now. Roach gambling a couple of times trying to reach in. She gets a screen now. 14 on the shot clock and a foul away from the ball as Gotham and Tupkis got tangled up. Tupkis is going to get called for the foul but she took the worst of it. I think she's holding her chin. Actually gonna call it on Gotham. Rachel's getting up, walking back to the bench, gets a nice round of applause. So Gotham picks up her fourth. Again, Braintree can just walk it up the court. And not much of a challenge here defensively yet from Revere. 3.55 left to go in the third. Tanetti. Baseline cut off is knocked out of bounds. We say Braintree ball. 11 on the shot clock. Fang swings around to Dylan and she threw it behind Bella Tinetti out of bounds. Blake trying to get through the crowd and Jenna Roach, the one who's going to get called for the reach in. That's her second. 14 foul. Entry likes to gamble, stick their hands in there. Pepic over Faye, no good. Rebound, Maddie Faye bobbles it around, and it goes back to DeGiulio. Dixon gets over quick enough, disrupts the shot, and a foul down low. That's Pepic, that's her fourth. She had the arm hooked, it looked like. And a couple of, couldn't quite tell who for Braintree. Probably Maddie Fays. That's the matchup. So Pepec and Gotham both now with four fouls and sitting on the bench. And a 14 foul there for Revere. 
Tonetti with a burst of speed. Kick out Dixon for three. No good. Dylan, a hand on it, but it bounces around and goes to Cavallo's hands. She'll bring it down the other way. She's going to try a long three. Smash from way downtown. Tatiana Hickavello makes it 56-27. Dylan Tanetti running the floor. No good there. DiGiulio with another rebound. Braintree out in the backcourt. Still trying to come up with a steal. Bella gets past them. She's going to try another three. Feeling it. No good that time. Maddie Faye with the board. Up and over to Tanetti. Tanetti sees... Molly Moore got blocked, gets it back, spins around, can't bank it in. Faye an offensive rebound, and Faye is able to finish. Yeah. 58-27 as we hit the two minute mark in the third quarter. Shot no good on the floater. And then Molly Moore gets fouled by Woodman. It's just her second. Referee's not letting anything go by in this one. The fifth team foul. 156 up to go in the quarter. Dylan just able to keep that one in bounds. Swings over the road, just six seconds on the shot clock. Keela Dixon recognized it. Kick out Hester, thought about it, she traveled. Or three second violation, actually. Not a call you see very often anymore. But it's still there. 120 off to go. Hester knocked it away and then Revere out of control, tried to save it and throw it back in. Didn't have enough mustard on it to get it back in bounds. Dixon into the paint, kick out for Roach. Thought about the shot and then she throws it into DiGiulio's hands. Woodman tangled up with Dylan and she's gonna draw a foul. And Woodman will be at the free throw line. That's Dylan's second. And this is the first. That's the ninth free throw miss for Revere in this game. Dixon for three, no good. She's going quiet here in this game. She was hot to start and has since gone very quiet. Fake out by Jenna Wells, who we haven't seen a ton of tonight. And Julio able to get to the free throw line. 16 foul against Braintree. Maddie Faye with the personal. It's just her first. Three free throws here for DiGiulio. Make it 11 missed. Julio's now 0 for 4 from the line. Out of bounds, last touch by Revere. Well, we saw Bishop Fian pretty handedly beat Wuburn earlier, and now we're seeing Braintree put on this clinic against, as Salem goes off base, beat. I don't think she was expecting it. Put on this clinic in the final 17 seconds here of the third quarter against Revere. 
might just be that the south section is a little more talented than the north. Foul as Mackenzie Moore was trying to pass it out. Wintry was looking for another shot attempt. Cavello, she picks up her third. Five seconds here, Dixon gets into the free throw line, puts up a shot, and she got it. Only four points for Kiva Dixon in that quarter, but Braintree, 33-point game. They upped their lead, 60-27. to 27. Three in the books, one to go. We're going to take another break here. You're watching Braintree Bells Basketball. Comcast Arbella Tournament right here on VCAM. Fourth and final quarter set to start here at Malden Catholic High School in the Doherty Gymnasium. Jeff Poster for BCAM TV. Glad you can join us here in game one for the Braintree Womps of the Comcast Arbella Tournament here in 2017. Braintree has won the last three of these and looking to make it number four. And hopefully to get a rematch with Bishop Fian who eliminated them from their playoffs last year and gave them their first loss this season, a heartbreaking loss, a game which Braintree could have won. Lost it on free throws in the final seconds of the game. Pepek able to get the offensive rebound, puts it back up and in. She's got seven now. Makes it 60 to 29 as we start the fourth quarter. Roach swatted away by Gotham. Real block we've seen from Revere tonight. Gotham and Pepic both playing with four fouls apiece, as is Pamela Gonzalez, who just handed the ball off to Napolitano. And Gonzalez is able to bank it in. Let's see if Revere can get something going here in the fourth. Down 29 now. Tanetti fakes the pass. And she loves that Euro step. She's got four points now. But even if Revere gets something going, 6.48 left, it might just be too little too late. Cheever, a freshman, travels. I point out that Erica Cheever's a freshman more than once tonight because it's just impressive that a freshman is getting rotational minutes here on a team that's undefeated this year. And that's a, a bright spot going forward. And, you're already undefeated now, and you've got her as a freshman, Valentina Pepic, their best player, just a junior. This is a team that's going to be around next year, too, and maybe for a couple more years after that. Very much like Braintree was, and still is now, as Dylan gets her first two points of the night. Braintree's getting everybody involved, top to bottom. Gonzalez, right-hand dribble, trying to get past, kick out, shot. Napolitano, no good. Rebound. Controlled by Dixon up to Timberlake. She's able to lay it in. Adriana Timberlake at 15 points. Now got 17 before she got into foul trouble. And ups the lead back up. Ooh, this is the largest now of the night, 35. Gotham, a long two, no good. Tanetti with a rebound. Up ahead, Timberlake back to Dylan on a nice pass. Unselfish basketball. Hallie Dillon's got four points. Raintree's passing has been on point tonight. 68-31. Gonzalez, nice pass right there from Gotham. 
Gonzalez here. And he's got six now. Tanetti putting on a show. Tutkis for three. No good. Dixon will grab the offensive rebound. Christian McDonald wants to go back out. Dylan. Get away from Pepper. Tutkis again. Over the top. Tanetti back outside. And she traveled, trying to lean into that pass. And Alyssa Tanaglia, Bella Scarpa will check back in. Julio comes back in, as does Cavello. Cavello controlling here. Pepic. Julio. Three ball is good from her. Again, Revere coming alive here in the fourth. It's an Aglia. Bella Scarpa wide open for three. In and out. No good. Bella with a rebound. Across herself, little stutter step back for a three pointer. She's hit him from deep, no good. Timberlake, another rebound. Adriana will slow down, walk it across the timeline. Tanaglia doesn't take a ton of shots, did take a three earlier. Timberlake thought about it. Here's Tanaglia, though. Bounce pass into Scarpa, Scarpa driving, kick out. Timberlake all on corner three. Ooh, that was halfway down before it spun out. Gotham and Gonzalez up ahead to DeGiulio. Three and a half left to go. 32 point game, Gonzalez can't get it. Scarpa got the rebound. Uh, kind of a lazy pass to Tanaglia. Gonzalez is able to get it back. And Icabello. Get it to Pepe, who's able to finish underneath. Nine points for her. Dylan around, bounce pass down low. A little too far in front of Timberlake. More substitutions here as Molly and Mackenzie Moore come in. Three ball no good. Molly Moore with a rebound up ahead to Kenzie Moore. And then she sends a low pass off her sister's feet. You think the two of them would be so in sync as twins, but that one just off the mark. In the corner. Epic. Julio driving with the right hand, throws it up at the basket. No good. Gotham an offensive rebound. She's able to put it back up and in. Gotham's been the most consistent offensive player here this afternoon. Ten points to lead Revere. And a timeout on the floor with 2.09. So with a 28-point lead and just over two minutes left to go, it looks like Braintree is going to get their wish, and they will meet Bishop Fian again this season. In the Division I championship game will be Monday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Should be a good one. Rematch again of what was at the beginning of the season. The state's number one and number two teams, though. You never know, those rankings... Might get revised even after this game as Revere came in. 
according to the Herald and the Globe, as the state's number one team. And Braintree really dismantled them. And had they've led wire to wire. Bell Scarp is going to dribble it, bring it up and run the point here. Hands off to Tanaga. Maggie Hester back in there. A couple of Brain True Womps still looking for their first bucket of the game. Moore picks it up off the ground, able to save it. Dylan's going to take a three. No good. Tanaglia, an offensive rebound in a crowd. Cross to Hester. Hester driving, puts up the shot off the glass. No good. Pepic with a strong rebound. Julio on the runner. Able to get two more. She has five. 120 left to go. Travel. Again, back in December, Braintree led the game against Bishop Fian. Dealt with foul trouble. A couple of players fouled out. They missed some key free throws. Bishop Fian's senior guard as Tanaglia gets two, and she's in the books. Bishop Fian's senior. BU led, or BU bounds, Lindsey Smith was able to hit a couple of free throws with just over a second left on the clock. Gave Bishop Fian a one point lead. Jenna Roach couldn't hit the shot as the clock ran out and Braintree had their first loss of the season. But they'll get a chance to get revenge on Monday. As Gotham makes the first of a one and one. And a lane violation. So she doesn't get the second one. The second one of those we've seen today. We've seen a little bit of everything. Scarpa bounce pass over to Dillon. See if Braintree even shoots it. Take the shot clock violation. 25 seconds left, but it's gonna be a foul. Why not? <laughs> I think that's at least the 50th foul called today. <laughs> so Molly Moore though will get a chance to get in the scorer's books. And she makes the first. Can't make the second. Pepper gets another rebound. So Revere will play Woburn. And another rematch in that scenario as well is. Scarpa travels with 13.6 on the clock, and Rear will get one more possession here. Maybe not. Well, they do, and if step out of bounds, and so Braintree will get the final possession. Scarpa gets it in over to Dillon, crosses half court. Another foul with 7.5 seconds left to go. Referees are getting their paychecks worth today. And Molly Moore has another one and one attempt here. Can't make the front. Offensive rebound for Dylan, taken away. Final three seconds. Nicovello will launch a three to Julio. Keeps it inbounds, and Braintree is advancing to the finals for the fourth year in a row. 71 to 46, a win over previously undefeated Revere. 
Wamps improved to 16 and 3 overall. Wu, or Revere drops to 18 and 1. Adriana Timberlake, Keila Dixon, the leading scorers here. We'll take a break again right here from the Doherty Gymnasium at Malden Capital. Everybody back here at Malden Catholic, our player of the game in the win over Revere, Adriana Timberlake. First of all, congratulations on the win, 17 points for you. It's got to feel good, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. I didn't know that I had that much. But. <laughs> uh, you came into this game, it must have been tough thinking Revere's undefeated. What was the mindset, yours and the team's, coming in trying to take down an undefeated team? Well, in practice, we worked hard, and our coach told us that they were going to be a pretty good team, knowing that they're number one in the state. And she just kept telling us, just know they're ranked above us, so play as hard as you can and just work hard. You, Keela, and Bella all kind of got into some foul trouble, and that's some uh, big-time talent for you guys, the three of you. What was it like to deal with that? How did you guys kind of rebound from that to avoid the foul trouble and get things going again? Well, as long as we just moved our feet instead of hacking <laughs> all the time, as long as we just moved, it was fine. Okay. And then uh, looking ahead, Bishop Fian now on Monday. You guys get another chance to take them down again. What's uh, what's the mentality going to that? What do you got to do to beat them? We just have to play the same as we did. And as long as we work hard, box out, move the ball as fast, then we'll be fine. <laughs> All right, good stuff there from Adriana Timberlake, our player of the game, 17 points. And again, defeating undefeated Revere. Now they've got one loss. Congratulations again on the win. Thank you. Back here again at Malden Catholic, now with head coach Kristen McDonald, her team getting the 71-46 over previously undefeated Revere. Congrats on the win, first of all. What was the mindset coming into this one? They had two girls who were both over six feet. You don't have a single girl who's yeah. six foot tall. And just you guys really defensively stopped them and looked like this was an easy win for you. Yeah, I was really proud of the way our kids yeah. played. That's the best I've seen them play this year. Um, our, our mentality going into it was that hopefully our style of play would be in the shorter, faster team, could outdo the taller, slower team. Um, tried to keep, the, they have, like you said, two big forwards, so we tried to keep them as far away from the basket and bring them up, and they brought them all the way up in their press breaker, um, so it allowed us to keep them away from the basket, which is key. Keela Dixon, Bella Tonetti, and Adriana Timberlake, three of your best scorers, all got into some uh, pretty decent foul trouble throughout the game. Really, there was a lot of fouls in general. How did you deal with that, finding you really had a good performance top to bottom on the team tonight? Unfortunately, we've, we've gotten really used to the foul trouble, yeah. <laughs> so we've had to work through that all year. Um, but we're, in, in for better or worse, I, I usually keep kids, even if they have two fouls, yeah. I just think if you sit them for a while, they get out of the, mm -hmm. the fluidity of the game. Um, so... I, I do put them back in. We say a prayer, and uh, <laughs> but honestly, our bench is so strong, and the kids coming off it, we're we're really lucky and fortunate that we have those kids behind it. They came in and did a great job tonight, and and every night that they've had to. So you advance to the championship game of this tournament once again for the fourth year in a row. But on the other side, Bishop Fian, I saw Mike Didi and the Shamrocks hanging out watching your game. You get another chance at a rematch. What goes into the prep for that one, and how do you beat them? Um, I don't know. We, we didn't figure it out this year yet, but uh, hopefully, you know what, we're psyched to play them again. Yeah, we've, we've had it circled on the calendar for a little bit with the chance to have, have be able to play them. So hopefully we just play out, we give them a, you know, play hard, give them a battle, go at it. Same way, same mentality they had this game. Um, they have shooters and scorers yeah. from every position. Um, so I might say a couple extra prayers the night before that they like don't hit every shot, but I think our kids are tough. You know, they, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, right? Is that what they say? Right? Sure. It's the size of the fight in the dog <laughs> or something like that. So we're gonna go with that mentality. All right, congratulations again on the win, advancing to the championship of the Comcast Arbella Tournament for the fourth year in a row. Braintree over Revere. Back here one last time at Malden Catholic inside the Doherty Gymnasium. Braintree over Revere, 71-46, your final score. Womps really had no problem. They led this one wire to wire. They got out. They defended. They were able to get up a defense that stopped two six-foot-two players. That They don't even have a single girl that's six feet tall. They used their speed and their running ability just to get up and down the floor. They looked great the entire way. Despite some foul trouble, Adriana Timberlake and Keila Dixon lead the way, 17 and 16 respectively, and they get one more chance, maybe not the last chance, we'll see if they meet them in the MIA tournament to take down Bishop Fee and the Shamrocks who defeated Woburn earlier today on Monday afternoon in the championship game. Braintree looking for their fourth straight championship of this Comcast Arbella IAABBO Board 27 
uh, tournament here in the girls' Division One bracket. But again, Braintree with a solid win. They hand Revere their first loss. Revere will take on Woburn in the consolation bracket, though. You never know if Braintree or Bishop Fian or Woburn or Revere, whoever, these two teams could very well meet up or these four teams, a combination of the two, could meet up at the TD Garden in this playoff run in the MIA. So we'll see. We're not done with these teams yet. Still a long ways to go in this season as we move into the month of March. That's going to do it for here. Us at BCAM TV on behalf of our camera person, Mark Chavis. I'm Jeff Poster, and we'll see you on President's Day for the championship game here against Bishop Fian.